Hey guys, I am past due on my winter treasures, so today I thought I would share some things that I've been loving lately. I'm gonna shake things up today, and I'm gonna start with two shows that I've been loving. The first show is called The Promised Neverland, and it is an anime that I started watching on Netflix. And then just recently I saw that Hulu has been updating the next season weekly, so I've started watching it through Hulu now. I'll give you the general idea. So it is a world run by demons, and they essentially create farms where they breed and harvest humans to eat. And that sounds really morbid, because it is. <laughs> but it is a surprisingly intriguing show. So it centers around these group of kids who are incredibly intelligent, and of course apparently that's super desirable and super edible to the demons. And so their mental abilities are nurtured and grown, and because they're so intelligent they end up figuring out what's going on and figuring out a way to escape. It is a very dark anime, but I love it. I love stuff like that. It's so interesting. And guess what? It doesn't get much better with the second show. So the second show is another K-drama because I've become obsessed with them. They're so good. So this particular one is called Sweet Home. I think it might be a Netflix original, but all of the humans in the world start suddenly turning into monsters, hungry monsters that want to eat other humans. And so the residents of this apartment complex end up getting locked inside and are trying to ward off the monsters and deal with each other other and it's so weird it has horrible CGI terrible just awful <laughs> but somehow it is still so compelling it drew me in I absolutely love it I love the characters they're so over the top it is so much fun <laughs> next let's talk about beauty items and I actually have two hair care items that I want to share with you guys today and I've been using them since I dyed my hair and they were both sparked by my hairdresser she insisted on one and was just giving me different tips and tricks and so I ended up picking up another that I really enjoyed that I thought I would share with you guys. So the first item is a heat protectant and she absolutely insisted that I have a heat protectant so anytime you blow dry your hair or curl or straighten or whatever you do to your hair you always want to have a heat protectant in it and it'll it, it does what it says it protects your hair. <laughs> so I ended up picking up one from a brand that she recommended it is Biolage and this is actually a dual action because it is both for styling and for protecting your hair. It smells absolutely incredible. I've been using this after I wash my hair, which I've cut that down to once a week now. <laughs> so once I wash it, my hair's still wet, I'll spray this through it and blow dry my hair. It gives just a touch of hole, which gives you lots of volume. And overall, I've really been enjoying the brand. She recommended this particular brand because it gives salon quality results, but it doesn't cost even half as much as salon products. So I've really been enjoying this. The second item that she recommended to me was to find a good texturizing spray. And the way she put it to me was for women with thinner hair like I have, a texturizing spray acts as sort of like a lightweight hairspray. So you get the hold without the crunch. So I ended up finding this one and it is from Sebastian Professional. It is Shaper Zero Gravity, and this is technically a hairspray, that's what it says on here, but it's a dry, brushable, lightweight hairspray, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it does smell kind of bad, but it works so well. So basically what I do after I curl my hair, I will spray this through it, and I'll brush my hair through with a wide tooth comb, and it's wonderful. Like it says, it's lightweight, so it doesn't weigh your hair down, it doesn't feel crunchy, you can still run your fingers through it, but that it still holds too, so you get your curls for long. Longer. And I guess as example to that, I have done literally nothing with my hair in four days. Not a thing. Haven't washed it. The most I've done is dry shampoo. So, as you can see, I still have some curls in it. So it works, guys, trust me. The next thing that I have been loving that I want to share with you guys is actually a musical artist. And I am obsessed with her. She is so good. She's so cute. I'm not even really sure what she would consider herself, so I don't know what to consider her either. If she's a singer or a DJ or... I don't even know. But her name is Neda. She is an Israeli artist and I'm gonna link a couple videos down in my description where she did these looping songs through iHeartRadio and it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Nope. 
She has a lot of really good songs as well that I've been listening to on repeat and I'm going to link those down in the description as well. You can tell that she loves what she does and I love that. I love people who are passionate about things that they do and you guys should really check her out. Alright guys and finally there's one last thing that I'm going to share with you today. It's not revolutionary, it's just chocolate. I have been a lot better lately about watching what I eat and eating less and being more mindful of what I'm putting in my body and and so lately I have been obsessed with dark chocolate, particularly 78% lint chocolate. And I have tried quite a few and for whatever reason 78% seems to be that magic number because anything below almost tastes watered down and anything above just tastes chalky. So 78% is the magic number. It is so good. <laughs> it's naturally low carb so you're not spiking your insulin. It's so good. It is so good. Alright guys, but those are all the things that I've been loving lately. Let me know down in the comments, what have you been enjoying lately? Is there anything that you think I should try? Let me know. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. I love seeing those. They make me feel so good. Subscribe to my channel if you've not already, because honestly, that would make me feel even better. And that being said, guys, I will see you the next time around. 